welcome back to another live stream from Super Booth 2019. We're here at the Yamaha and Steinberg booth. If you're already at Super Booth, come and visit us. We have some really cool stuff to show you. But if you're watching from home, from Facebook, Instagram, good to see you. Stick around because I have some really cool things to show you today. And today I actually have two things to show you. The first thing is our brand new stage piano, the CP88, really, really powerful instrument, beautiful sounds, real-time control, amazing effects, delays, reverbs, and today I'm going to show you how I'm going to use this inside a DAW environment, inside a production environment, and how I can control my sounds, how I can control Cubase, because I'm going to be using Cubase as my DAW today. And the second thing that I want to show you today is our brand new synthesizer from Steinberg, from M67, Rasta. It's an incredible polyphonic analog synth, and I'm going to show you today how it sounds. Stick around because this is really special. So, just to give you an idea of my setup right here, I have Cubase 10 Pro running. Um, by the way, we're celebrating uh, Cubase this month, so you have to check all these things out. It's really, really amazing. And I have my CP88 hooked up with a single USB cable into Cubase. Now what happens is that the CP88 becomes immediately my audio interface for Cubase, which means that every sound that I play in Cubase is going to play back through the lovely converters on the CP88. For example, here I have Groove Agent SC5, and when I play, the sound comes out of the outputs of my CP88, along, of course, with the internal sounds of the CP88. Now, um, the other thing that happens is, of course, it becomes a MIDI controller, and I'm going to show you how you can control, obviously, your VST instruments and how you can use it to control your plugins in real time. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to use the internal sounds of the CP88, so the electric pianos, the acoustic pianos, the effects, and record something in real time on multiple channels. So let's try and do this. I don't need any external cables. It goes all through this single USB cable. So let's do this. Let's record something.
So, thank you. <laughs> thank you, guys. So, everything you just heard was internal CP88 sounds, apart from the drums that were coming from Groove Agent SC5. So, amazing instrument for your pianos, for your uh, you know, electric pianos, all those things, but it can do so much more than that. And as you can see, I've recorded everything on a separate channel in Cubase, so I can just have access to, let's see, the different elements. My roads. You know, this nice looping, courtesy of the delay, the analog delay on the CP88, and of course, you know, my effects, my build ups, all these things. So, now, of course, this is the audio recording part of the CP88, the audio interface, and of course, the integration inside Cubase. Now, I want to show you something else, and this is the second part of what I'm going to do today, and this is how you can use the CP88 as a MIDI controller for your plugins. And what better occasion to show you this than by showing you our new super powerful synthesizer for Halion Sonic, Halion Sonic SE, and of course our big, big instrument, Halion 6. This is Rasta, and it sounds like this. I think we can all agree this thing sounds huge. There are tons of amazing sounds in it. But for me, the thing that makes it special is that it's great if you want to create your own sounds. It's an amazing synth for sound design. So I'm going to show you what makes this synth special. Because basically, Rasta emulates a polyphonic analog synth of the 80s. So it does it in a very, very cool way because it emulates the drift of the VCOs, which is a very, very big part of the sound. So, for example, I'm, I'm going to start with a completely simple initialized preset, which is... And, of course, I can activate my second oscillator right here on the CP88. It's very funny because the buttons on the CP88 look very much alike these buttons on Rasta. So, so this is just one oscillator, and then I'm going to add the second one. And of course, I can control the filters. As you can see, I'm not even thinking about it. I'm controlling everything through the CP88. And this really makes it feel you know, even more analog. It gives me an analog experience. So what I want to show you is, first of all, the VCO drift. So I'm going to play just a simple chord. And this is without the VCO drift. This is, this is how your typical virtual analog synth sounds like. It, it sounds good but there's not much you know, variation going on because all these analog synths, they have this kind of imperfections that we like and love, and that's why we want them in our music. So that's what Rasta can do very well. You can basically play a chord and it will detune every VCO. It will add uh, an element of randomness to the sound. So let me show you. I'm going to start adding the VCO drift gradually. So you can see the sound becomes more alive. There's every note sounds different. That's, that's the key thing for, for this sound. And of course, if I go all the way up, I can turn this into a completely unstable, broken, uh, polyphonic analog synth. Like Same thing you can do with the panning. So this will emulate the spread control on this uh, polyphonic analog synth. So basically, each voice is going to be allocated in the stereo field. And this is something you can't recreate um, in post with a stereo enhancer or you know, a stereo widening plugin. It's just not the same, because that's what it does. I'll show you. So I'm going to turn it up now. So it becomes like narrow, and then it becomes super wide, because every voice is in a different place. And the other thing that you can do is you can even emulate the drift of the portamento. 
So before I do this, let me turn this into unison mode. I'm going to press this button on my CP88, and now I'm into unison mode. And that's where the VCO drift really shines, because all the notes are stacked, all the voices are stacked into one note, and you get this really... So now let's use uh, portamento. I'm going to turn it all the way up, and that's without the portamento drift. You know, your typical portamento, all voices are getting, you know, just port port portamented up, and they arrive at the target note at the same time. But if I turn it up, check what happens. So you get this instant classic sound because the notes are just gliding to the target note at a different, slightly different time. So you get this super wide sound. You know, you know the sound. It's it's very popular. So if you add some reverb to this. So absolutely stunning. Now, the other thing that you can do using the CP88 and Rasta, and by the way, any other synthesizer that you run inside Cubase, is that you can say, OK, now I want to have another instance of Rasta, and it's an initialized instance again. You know, simple, nothing else. And then I can say, I want to load a preset. But imagine you're playing live and you want to basically load a preset without even touching your computer. So basically, what you can do is you can load a preset on the CP88. For example, I have a preset right here that recalls all the settings of this instrument. So now, I just press this, and you see all the controllers changed. And I have an already created sound that I've saved on the CP88. I can just hit one button and recall it straight away. And I can have as many presets as I want click it because basically what happens is the CP88 sends all those CC messages into Rasta and you have the sound. And you don't even have to switch the preset. You just switch the preset on the CP88. So to recap, CP88, really, really powerful. Music production tool as well, apart from you know a live instrument, a really great instrument to play on. Audio, audio interface for Cubase, MIDI controller, controller for your plugins. And of course, Rasta, brand new synthesizer, polyphonic analog synthesizer. You really have to try it out. It's really amazing. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. We have many things coming up, so stick around. I'll see you in the next one. Signing off. Bye-bye.